welcome to Hotel Home. My name is Raina Wong, your hostess, and today my special guest is Danny Lovato. Danny, thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me. We're very excited. Mm -hmm. Now, did you wear your pretty ring today? I did. Danny is engaged, <laughs> and she's very excited about planning your wedding, right? Yep, May 4th. Yay! But... Right now you're traveling without your significant other, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'd talk a little bit about how you deal with all of that. Now, how long have you lived in hotels in general? Um, going on five years. Five years? Yeah, on and off. You know, we have breaks in between, but um, I, for the most part, I've lived in hotels for that long. Oh, wow. That yeah. must get tiring. It does. You have to like it. And now you... Met your fiance on the road, right? I did, yeah, my first year. Oh, mm -hmm. well, that was quick work. Good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you have lived with him on the road, and mm -hmm. he now has a different job. Right. right, a different traveling job, but he gets to stay in the U.S., and I'm overseas, so that's where it gets kind of difficult. So how long have you been living in hotels without him? Uh, it's been about nine months. We oh. separated in January, and... Um, we won't see each other until about mid-September, so. That's a long time. Yeah, but we, we get by. You know, there's there's different ways to communicate, so. Yeah. Do you think it helps the two of you cope that he has had similar jobs and he also travels? and It's not just being left at home? Yeah, no, definitely, because you're able to understand each other better. Mm -hmm. You understand the workload and the demands of the job, and it definitely helps that we are both in the same industry. Mm -hmm. So, Do you think it's more difficult when you're both on the road separately or when you're at home and he's out or when he's at home and you're out or are they're all just terrible. Honestly, yeah, it just, it sucks being without, without him and, you mm -hmm. know, him without me. You know, it's hard on the road and the nights are hard when, you know, when you're without him, but being at home, it's about the same. You can keep yourself busy during the day with going out and, and or working or being with friends, but at the end of the day, that's the hardest. Your new roommate probably isn't as good a snuggler. <laughs> no, we don't snuggle at all. Oh, well, maybe you should talk to her about that. Maybe that would fix the whole thing. Who knows? <laughs> So, okay, nine months is a long time. Mm -hmm. How often do you guys talk to each other? We try to talk every day. You know, we have a 14-hour difference in time. Mm -hmm. So when we can't talk face-to-face -face or on Skype, we email each other. Um, most of the time email, but uh, every other day we, type, we talk on Skype. And that's usually the only things that we use. Mm -hmm. um, iPhones are great, too, with iMessage, so. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. You haven't used any of the... What, what are the things we used to use all the time in college? AIM, the oh. AOL Instant Messenger. Or the yeah, no, we don't really use that. We've used uh, Haytel for a while, but mm -hmm. he he's really bad about responding back like because it's like a walkie-talkie. So, <laughs> you know, I would leave message after message, and so we just realized that email is the best way to, to communicate. <laughs> you don't have a phone overseas, right? No, I don't. Okay. So I only rely on the Wi-Fi. Yeah, I know I had um, Haywire, which was, it gave you a special number so that you could text message people from outside the U.S. as long as you have Wi-Fi. Uh-huh. And that has been handy. Um, and do you FaceTime? Or you don't have Apple products? No, I do, but we don't use it for some reason. We oh. just, we've always used Skype, and we've kind of stuck with Skype. Um, I used to have an Android phone. Mm -hmm. when I first started, so I guess that's where the Skype came in, and then we just never changed over. About how long do you talk? Just enough to say hi, bye, or? It depends. Uh, it depends on how late it is, really. Yeah. You know, sometimes Here I'm... there and... Exactly. Sometimes I'm just waking up and only have a few minutes, or mm -hmm. he's going to bed. Um, but when I... When we get a good chunk of time that's good for both of us, we talk for like 20, 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. And it also probably depends if you're if your roommate's around. Does he have a roommate on the road, too? Or not sometimes, right sometimes. Sometimes he does, yeah. Which makes it even more difficult. Yeah, it does. Sometimes you do, you do have to cut it short. <laughs> so, I, I have heard tale of some things, but I was hoping that you would share with us the sweetest thing he's done for you while you've been on the road without him. The sweetest thing he did was uh, a few months back. Uh, he was in the U.S., and 
you were in Japan, and he sent me uh, two dozen roses and a bottle of whiskey, which is my favorite, <laughs> and he, he uh, sent them over to Japan on my opening night, so. Oh, how did he do that? I don't know. I didn't want to ask because it was so sweet. So I just, you know, left it up to my curiosity and somehow he managed and I was, I was so taken aback. It was just, it was a really lovely gesture. So that's why I love him so much. <laughs> that's very sneaky to be able to get all of that in Japan. Yeah. On the right day, at the right mm -hmm. time. <laughs> Especially being ahead. Yeah. I wonder if, that sounds confusing. <laughs> So, what is the worst part about being on the road without your significant other? The worst part is just sometimes not really having somebody to talk to. You know, that person gets you no matter, you know, you're having a good day or a bad day. or They just, they understand you. So, that's sometimes the hardest part is you don't really have that connection with anybody else here. So... Um, and like I said before, the nights, the nights are the hardest part because you're unwinding, you're home from, from work, and, you know, they're not there. <laughs> yeah. And we're lucky enough to be able to travel in a group, but we're a pretty small group, so if, mm -hmm. if there's drama, then you just... Yeah. Yeah, it's sometimes hard, it's hard to, to find a loner. different clique to mm -hmm. hang out with. And... Yeah, sometimes you have to be a loner, and, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's actually... Uh, helps me and, and made me grow as an individual, just kind of being by myself and do my own thing. But you miss, you miss that, um, that the, your significant other, you know, gets to you. Is there anything nice about having that change of pace? Because you lived together on the road for two years before that? Mm hmm Yeah, I mean, well, while we roomed together, it was about two years. Uh, I mean, Having, being able to do your own thing is great. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to uh, see what they're doing or what they want to do. If you want to go to the Starbucks or go get McDonald's, you, you don't have to wait for them to get home. Or just, it's nice having that, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just the freedom mm -hmm. to, to kind of go and do your own thing. So that's that's a change for me. So is it true? Does absence make the heart grow fonder? It definitely makes it grow fonder. We're having a moment. <laughs> Feel the moment. It's true. Yeah. But you get to see him soon. I do. I get to like see him in a about weeks. in a week. I get to see him, so it's definitely um, it's gonna be great. Do you have big plans for your reunion? Yes, we're moving um, in Ooh. together, like off the road. We're moving to Texas You're and giving up hotels. I'm giving up hotels finally after half a decade <laughs> and I'm getting my own apartment with him and we're gonna have like the normal life with the kitchen and a puppy and have plans to get married so I'm really excited and that's kind of taken my mind off of um being here alone for so long <laughs> yeah do you think that there will be things that you'll miss about being on the road once you have your own place yeah I, since we move around so much, I'm afraid that uh, I will get tired of being in the same place mm -hmm. for a long period of time. But, you know, I think that's just something you have to get used to. I won't miss living out of a suitcase, though. I feel like that's the hardest part of tour. Oh, yeah. Not really having your own space for anything and having a little corner to yourself. It's hard. Yeah. Oh, Do you have any other tricks or tips for us on how to keep your relationship strong while while you're apart cuz you, how long are you, have you been apart at a time cuz uh, you said it was 9 months total but there've been a couple breaks right yes we done uh 3 and a half months mm -hmm. away so that's the longest it's been okay and then other times have been you know a month here or two months there but it's all added up to 9 <laughs> yeah um i would say the tip that is communication you know, you may not be able to get a, a hold of that person, but um, you can write emails. We've also uh, tried, like, long distance, like, little games online that you can find on websites where okay. you write cards or um, you, you write little stories to each other and stuff. So it kind of makes the time go by faster. Over the nine months, have you ever sat down and written an old-fashioned letter or postcard? 
No, I haven't actually. Not mm. not to him. I did when I first started tour. I would write postcards, but I found it a hassle to try to find stamps, so oh, <laughs> I yeah. got lazy with it. And I said, oh, well, email is just way faster. <laughs> and cheaper. And cheaper, of course. It doesn't cost you anything to mm -hmm. write an email. So When you were looking for stamps overseas, did you have trouble finding them? or? Well, once I found the post office, it wasn't hard, but oh. sometimes it's hard finding the post office, so I just gave up. So it's probably not that hard, but you know, I didn't put that much effort into it when there's other sources, there's other resources out there. So, and when you're moving around so much, keeping mm -hmm. track of that yeah. is difficult. Also, and then you buy a book of stamps and they're in your luggage somewhere. Right, right? and then you move to another country and then you got to throw them away. So, no. Um, also, we make little videos for each other too, like little messages and we send them over the internet. So, oh, I was going to say, this is a G rated show, ma'am. <laughs> No, 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 totally innocent. <laughs> so do you, like, tell poems to each other? Um, well, no, but we'll, like, say what's going on in our lives or what's what things are going on, you know, with tour or uh, things, events that are coming up. And, you know, I'll, or I'll write, or I'll do a little really funny things. Like, one day he was having a bad day, and I just made funny faces to a song, and I cut it together and sent it to him. <laughs> do you... Is it in a place where you can keep them? Like, if you have a day where you can't talk to them, do you go and watch an old one? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I keep them on my computer. That's a good idea. I've never thought of that. Mm -hmm. How do you share them? On, like, on YouTube? Um, Dropbox, uh, oh. Skype, um, email, if it's not too big of a file. So. Oh, that's yeah. cute. Mm -hmm. See, and now you have all of these ideas to help keep your relationship strong. Yeah. Even if you're in opposite hemispheres. Yeah. Sometimes it's the only way. Well, Danny, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. As always, I'm Raina Long, your darting diva. Thank you for checking in with us today on Hotel Home, and may you always travel home.